In September of 1987, American audiences received a formal introduction to Danny Tanner, a news anchorman finding ways to cope with the void left by his wife's sudden demise and feeling concerned about the future of his three daughters, DJ, Stephanie, and Michelle, as he finds himself standing in the shoes of a single dad. He enlists the help of his lovable childhood friend Joey Gladstone and the ever-charming Jesse Katsopoulos, his wife's brother, to help him run the house. Each episode had more or less a similar storyline, a conflict between the main characters that the family would resolve through the episode, inevitably reaching a happy ending. Though the story was almost always predictable, the plots invariably left scope for lots of laughs. All in all, Full House was a happy show that still brings back a feeling of nostalgia. In 2016, Netflix aired Fuller House, a sequel to Full House. Though the series brought some laughs, it lacked the camaraderie and cuteness quotient of the original series. In this video, we go back to the original Full House and tell you some interesting facts about the show. Facts First presents, the Full House cast was almost way different. 11 Facts Before we dive in, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated about all our latest videos. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen played Michelle. Who hasn't heard of the Olsen twins, the famous fashion designer duo? However, back in the 80s, the Olsen twins were an unknown name. They became famous after being cast as Michelle Tanner in Full House. Yes, two different actresses played one character on the show. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen are not identical but fraternal twins. While Ashley is right-handed, Mary-Kate is left-handed. It is thus that Michelle was shown to be ambidextrous on the show. However, the audience never noticed the difference between the twin sisters, at least during the initial seasons. In fact, the show's producers used the name Mary-Kate Ashley Olsen to give the impression that the role of Michelle was being played by a single actress. Show's producers were considering giving the role entirely to Mary-Kate during season 6. As the twins advanced in age, the difference between them began to grow starker. Towards the later seasons, the audiences could very well figure out that the role of Michelle was being played by two different actresses. The producers used Mary-Kate for the funny scenes and Ashley for emotional and serious ones. So when shooting for season 6 started, the producers of the show decided to go only with Mary-Kate and drop Ashley from the cast. However, John Stamos found this unacceptable and refused to shoot with only one of the twins. In a way, Stamos saved Ashley's job, which is funny because Stamos also had them almost fired in season one because he couldn't take their incessant crying. Uncle Jesse was supposed to be Uncle Adam. John Stamos not only saved Ashley's career, he also played an important role in building his character on the show. It's believed in the original script Uncle Jesse was supposed to be Uncle Adam, with his actual name being Adam Cochran. However, Stamos didn't like Adam as much as he liked Jesse, and therefore his character's name was changed to Jesse. Given that we now know Uncle Jesse was half Greek and half Italian on his father's side, and completely Italian on his mother's side, Jesse certainly sounds better than Adam. Before we move on to the next fact, we want to remind you to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, remember to press the bell icon to stay updated about all our latest videos. John Posey was supposed to be Danny Tanner. The pilot for Full House never aired on TV, however it was included in the Full House DVD collection. The plot shown in the pilot was used as the first episode, our very first show, of the series. However, the main difference between the pilot and the first episode is that in the pilot, John Posey appeared as Danny Tanner, whereas in the first episode, the role was played by Bob Saget. Not many people know the role of Danny was offered to John Posey. However, Posey was under contract with CBS for its The Morning program and thus couldn't take the role. What a fortunate turn of events for Bob Saget, right? Another fun fact, Danny Tanner was given the first and last lines of the series. Such good luck. The show was supposed to be House of Comics. The show was supposed to be House of Comics and not Full House as the premise of the show revolved around three comics living under one roof. With this concept in mind, the creators had already cast Bob Saget and Dave Coulier as the show's two leads. However, Jeff Franklin, who created the show, decided to tweak the plot a bit to make the show family-oriented. After all, the late 80s was a time when family sitcoms were a rage. All in all, this change turned out well for the audience and especially well for John Stamos, who eventually became everyone's favorite Uncle Jesse. Only a single episode was shot in San Francisco. Since the very first episode, it was made clear that the family lived in San Francisco. In fact, in season two, Danny becomes co-host of a local morning show called Wake Up San Francisco. Since the family was based there, it's normal to assume the whole show was also filmed in San Francisco, right? 
The answer is no. Except for one season eight episode entitled Comet's Excellent Adventure, all the episodes were shot in Los Angeles. All exterior shots of San Francisco you see throughout the show were filmed in a single day and used throughout the series. Do you think that's smart thinking or just cheating your audience? We're confused. Full House was recorded on the stage that would eventually become home of Friends. No show, irrespective of how successful it is, gets to keep their soundstage, and that's the reality of television. You don't believe us? Listen to this then. Full House was made on the same soundstage on which 70s hit series Wonder Woman was filmed, and after Full House, Friends took over on the same stage. In fact, Friends was shooting its first season when Full House was still on the air, and therefore the two shows shared the stage. Friends recorded another season on the same soundstage before moving on to a new set. Here's another fun fact. Stamos made a guest appearance on Friends in the episode titled The One with the Donor. He appeared as Zack, a potential sperm donor that Chandler brings home from his office. Jeff Franklin bought the San Francisco house that appeared as Tanner House. Jeff Franklin was the creator of the show, and therefore it is expected of him to be a bit emotional about the show. No one was therefore surprised when Franklin decided to buy the San Francisco house that appeared on the show as exteriors of the Tanner home for a whopping $4 million. The house is located close to 1709 Broderick Street. The same house also made an appearance on Netflix Fuller House. Franklin now has a sign in front of the house that welcomes Full House fans but requests them to be considerate of neighbors. There was supposed to be a season 9. Full House went off the air not because the ratings fell or the producers of the show lost their faith in the plot. In fact, there was supposed to be a season 9. However, both John Stamos and Candace Cameron were unsure of how the audience would take the ninth season. They were also busy with their other commitments. So Full House said goodbye to its audiences in 1995. Jody Sweeten, who played Stephanie Tanner, went through a tough time after the show ended. Jody Sweeten played Stephanie Tanner, Danny and Pam Tanner's middle child. Jody was only five when she was chosen for the role. After the show ended, it became really difficult to give up the glamorous life of a TV star and adjust to real life instead. So when she was only 14, she started drinking and eventually became addicted to meth. Thankfully, her life changed for good when she became a mother in her 20s and decided to give up all her vices. Comet was pretty famous too. In the season three episode called, And They Call It Puppy Love, Minnie, a golden retriever, runs away from her home and eventually ends up giving birth in Tanner's backyard. Joey eventually convinces Danny to keep one pup from the litter and Michelle decides to name him Comet. Comet was actually a famous doggy actor in real life who even won a nomination for a Kids Choice Award in 1998. How adorable, isn't it? Full House will always bring feelings of nostalgia. It will always be one of those shows that brings back happy memories. Were you a fan of the original series? If yes, who was your favorite character on the show? Is there any important fact we missed out? Let us know in the comments. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to Facts First to see more videos like this.